Hey, 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 YouTube fam. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I pray that each of you have had a blessed and safe day. All is well with you. Everything is going great. Your evening is going great. And even if it's not, you understand my voice. Guess what? You are still a miracle. You are a blessing because you have made it to a brand new day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world, you have made it. And that right there is a blessing and miracle within itself. If this is your first time tuning into my YouTube channel, my name is Candice e. Bryan. I'm a certified life coach and motivational speaker. I'm also a podcaster as well as an author. I am also a mother of two beautiful and wonderful children. And what I do, I do mindset coaching for women, helping them take their mindsets from rags to riches. Yes. So I need for all my beautiful, wonderful queens out there to fix your crimes. They might be crooked. They might be shattered to pieces. But guess what, queen? You got the power to fix your crime. You understand what I'm saying? And when I mean fix your crime, I mean fix your mindset, okay? And there are some of you. Sis, I don't know what y'all waiting on, okay? There are some of you have not even picked up your crown, okay? Queen, pick up your crown, okay? Put it on top of your head and walk like the fearless, bold queen that you were born to be. All right, y'all, so it's a little bit of, I would call it, some encouragement. Because as I was getting my daughter ready um, for bed and stuff like that, I just, me and her... She just, you know, you know how three years old. I want my mom, I want my mommy. So, of course, you know I had to pit up. And, and, of course, I always, you know, love to have my worship music playing. And just immediately went into worship, y'all. And it's like, tonight, I bring some encouraging words because I felt like somebody needs some encouragement tonight. Somebody about to throw in the towel. Somebody about to give up, Okay. I don't want to, listen, do not give up in this season, okay? I know things are rough. I know things are tough. I get it. But do not give up in this season. You understand what I'm saying? I just felt like somebody just going to say, you know what, forget this. I'm done. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of doing that. Every time I get to this point in my life, something always is happening. Let me tell you something. Do not throw in the towel. Don't you throw in the towel, okay? I promise you this. Your good deeds are not going unnoticed, okay? You may feel like you may be doing good here and good there, and you just been pouring and pouring and pouring, and you just been giving and giving and giving. Let me tell you something. Your reward is on the way, okay? You are not going unnoticed. God sees you. He sees what you're doing. And the more good that you be do, been doing, let me tell you something. You, your reward is going to be great. So do not give up in this season. Don't sit there and let the enemy fool you out of your blessing. Don't let him fool you out of what God got for you. Because he will come and lie to you talking about, yeah, you might as well give up. You might as well throw in the tower. Ain't nobody listening. Don't nobody care. The devil is a lie. Okay? Keep doing what you doing. Okay? And let me tell you something, especially when you are out here trying something new out here on this water, you got to trust God with everything. If you're doing something brand new, it don't feel good to you, it's uncomfortable, good. All right? Tell God to keep you uncomfortable because that's where you're going to grow. That's where you grow the most when you are uncomfortable. When you get comfortable, you get complacent, you stop growing. You stop doing things. No, stay in that uncomfortable state. Yes, I know that bed don't feel good at night and it's cold. Get you a pillow, get you a heat pad, and go to sleep, okay? It's going to be okay. Don't sit there and cry. Because you ain't got somebody laying in the bed next to you. Come on, somebody. You invite God into your bed. Say, Lord, I know you said in your word, you'll never leave me nor forsake me. So, God, I ask that you come in and just give me the peace and give me comfort on the night. Let me tell you something. He do it to me every night. He come right on in this room, baby. And he peace just come throughout this whole house. And I sleep like a baby. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let people fool you into thinking, yeah, you just... You, you just need to get somebody over there in the bed. No, the devil is a lie. You don't need nobody in your bed. It just need to be you and God. If you're single, 
If you are single in this season, no, I, I understand. I get it. It's uncomfortable to be in the bed by yourself. I, I get it. But guess what? That's where you're going to grow at. Even in that, yes, you're going to grow in that by being by yourself because God can deal with you. The things that's not of God, he can begin to tear off some stuff. He can begin to perform spiritual surgery. Come on, somebody. And he can add to you. He got to tear off some stuff. He got to break some stuff off of you because there are some things that you still dealing with. And we want to holler about, we want to, we want this and we want that when we ain't ready for that. We ain't ready for that. We thinking our timing be right, but our timing be so off. It be way off. And here we get to the thing and then we mess it up and then we talking about, well, I don't know what's wrong with them. And I, it, it ain't even them, it's you. It's not your time yet. We got to know when it's our time, y'all. We got to learn how to wait on God. We got to trust him. But in your waiting... In your way to seek him like never before. Don't give up on your dreams and goals. Don't throw in the towel. Because it's uncomfortable. No, do not throw in that towel. I know it don't feel good. But don't throw in that towel. If you throw in the towel, God going to throw it right back to you. Mm-hmm. He going to not do uh -uh. He going to say, uh -uh. whoop, you got to get this towel back. I ain't through. No, I'm not finished. You, you ain't giving up this easy. He did me like that. I said, Lord, I... I just can't do this. I, I'm not going to do this. Whoop. He said, whoop, get that towel back. Uh, no, ma'am. No, you ain't getting off the hook this season. Yeah, it's going to feel uncomfortable. But in your uncomfortable season, that's where you going to grow at. Come on, y'all. You can't throw in the towel because it don't feel good. And the problem is we want to be comfortable. We want to go back to the familiar things. No, you got to go to something that's unfamiliar, uncomfortable. You don't know nothing about. As I said, you got to go step by step, day by day. You ain't going to know every detail right then and there. God is not going to give you every detail because if God sit there and give you all the details, over half of us ain't going to do what we supposed to do anyway. I ain't going to do all that. That's too hard. That's too hard, Lord. No, 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 no. You just got to go step by step. You ain't got to know the details as long as you keep God first and keep seeking him. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. God got you. Sis, God got you. Don't be worrying about, what, what, well, God, how you going to do this? Don't worry about it. It ain't for you to figure it out. All you got to do is a wait for the plan that the Lord has for you. He going to give you the plan. You just got to wait on him. When the time is right, it will come to you. Don't worry about how. Don't worry about when. Don't worry about it. All you got to know is your who, your source, and your source is God. And that's all you, that's it. You don't have to know nothing else out here on this water. Nothing else. Do, but I just can't encourage somebody, do not throw in that towel. Don't give up in this season. Okay, yeah, so they told you that right there didn't work. That plan didn't work. That's okay. How many letters we got in the alphabet? Come on now. So if, if, if plan A, B, C, and D didn't work, keep going. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, they didn't work, keep going. That's okay, keep going. Because I promise you, if you stay consistent and you believe, it's going to work for you. Because we know that all things work together for our good. All things work together for your good. Everything work together. God said everything. He used everything in our life that worked together. I am a living witness. I thought my life was trash. It wasn't. How can God use somebody like me? How can, how can God, I'm like, God, how? Why? Why would you use me? I, I'm nobody. I'm nothing. I don't have a degree. I didn't graduate college. I graduated high school. I said, Lord, I'm just a CNA. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a doctor. Come on, somebody. God, how can you use me? He said, I'll show you. All you got to do is put me first and have a willing vessel and be humble, and I will show you the way. If God using me, he can use you. I don't care what you have been through. I don't care what you're going through. I don't even care what your profession is. God can use you. I don't care if you are a stripper out here. 
I don't care if you've been a drug dealer. Come on, somebody. I don't care if you've been a crackhead. I don't care if you've been a drunk. It does not matter. You've been a fornicator. You done committed. It don't matter. God will use you. All you got to do is be willing and have a, and be humble. And listen to him and put him first. He will use you. All that stuff that you went through. Everything that you went through in your life. Even as a child. When they broke your heart. When they did stuff to you. When when they took over your innocence. Even God, God will use that. He will use all of that. Everything. He will use it. I'm a witness. He'll use it. He will take all of that stuff and he will use it. He It'll work out for your good. People often say, I don't think I can do that. Yes, you can. What's stopping you? I'm going to ask you a question. What is stopping you? What's stopping you? Hmm? What's stopping you? God say, if in the, oh, God help me here today. If God be for you, who could be against you? Who, what, what's stopping you? What? Who? Who, who going to stop you when God is for you? Who? Gina? Psh, bye. <clears throat> Gina can't stop you. Who them folks cross the street? They gonna stop you from living out your childhood dream? <clears throat> no. Who gonna stop you? Your family? Oh, no. Nah, you leave them on back, though. Keep going. Who gonna stop you? Nobody. Whatever God got for you, it's for you. Go get it. Don't throw it. I don't care what you're doing right now. If you got a dream, you got a goal, you got a vision, and you work it toward it, and you work it toward it every single day, it's gonna come to pass. All you gotta do is believe. That's all you got to do is believe. That's all you gotta do. I don't care what you're doing. It don't matter. I don't look down on nobody. Okay? Not even the homeless people. I don't look down on nobody. Because sometimes they just checked out of life. They just checked out of life. They just having a rough time like we always do. I don't look down on nobody. Because one thing I'm learned, I have learned. <laughs> we had a power to create wealth. We had that power. God then gave us that power to create wealth. All they got to do is just have somebody to push them along. <laughs> and you don't never know if that's a being that's sitting on the street corner. Come on, somebody. That homeless man that you see right there sitting on that street corner. Oh, God, thank you. Could be a being there. We don't never know. Never know. Or the mom that's working. She trying to make ends meet. But she get in and now she done worked all day. She come home, she feed her kids. Oh, Lord, thank you. And after she put the kids to bed, she in a book. And she studying. And she working on her business. And she got a vision board. And she know where she going. She got a destination. We don't never know that. Mm. I don't never know. Let me tell y'all something. Don't give up in this season. I don't care who you are. Don't give up in this season. You ain't got that. You just, okay, you didn't graduate school. That's okay. God still could use you. You still could be a billionaire. I don't care what nobody said. If he using me, he can use you. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on your goals. Do not. Throw, don't, don't abort the, ooh, Lord, don't abort your baby. Birth that baby back. Don't, don't abort that baby. Birth that baby back. Don't throw in, don't throw away your vision board. Don't tear it up because nine plans didn't work. Try it a tenth time. Go back and try it again. Go back and tweak and twerk a few things on now. Try it, try it, try it with something else. I promise you, you'll get it. I promise you, you'll get it. All you got to do is get up every single day, keep believing, keep trusting in God, and keep creating. You gonna get them. Don't throw in the towel. Don't you throw in the towel. This is not the time to give up. You fail, that's okay. Get up, dust yourself off, try it again. Try it again. All right.
I just want to come here and give y'all a little encouragement. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. I know I don't say that on my videos, but I'm going to have to start doing that. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. That way, when I get ready to drop a video, you will hit that um, the notification bell will be on. You'll be able to um, see the video. Also, y'all... My divine ones, we are going on tour. I am, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And glory be to God. It's all, it's all God. It's all God. Let me tell you something. It's all God. But divine ones, Latoya O'Keel will be in Dothan, Alabama, July 24th at the Wildgrass Rehab Center. Okay? Dothan, Alabama. Go to IamLatoyaOkia.com to secure your seat. Because when I tell you tickets are limited, tickets are, I mean, seating is limited, y'all. The seating is limited. So, y'all be sure to go and get y'all ticket today, okay? Come. We're going to have a wonderful time in the Lord. Y'all coming there with a spirit of expectation. I mean, high expectations, okay? Because I'm expecting God to do something great. I don't know about y'all. But I am expecting him to do a great move in there. You understand what I'm saying? He going to do some miraculous in there for people. I'm believing it. Okay? People going to be saved. People going to be delivered. It's some chains going to be broken. Breakthrough going to come in. I'm telling you, it's going to be an awesome time in the Lord. And you do not want to miss it. I'm going with high expectations. Okay? Because I already know. <laughs> I already know it's going to be awesome. So, y'all, please go to Latoya O'Kia's um, website at IamLatoyaOkia.com to get your tickets. Also, me and my lovely sister, Talisa Smith, yes, we are doing a single mother seminar. And it is called Sis, God Got You. God Got You, Sis, okay? But we're going to be talking about um, organizational skills. We're going to be talking about relationships, single motherhood just all kind of gems rubies diamonds gonna be dropped up in there so y'all be sure to be on the lookout on my facebook page on my youtube as well as talisa smith she is ceo of organized success that's my girl that's my sis and we are doing it august the 28th the time is going to be announced and we're gonna make the final preparations for that is week so y'all be on the lookout and it's going to be through zoom we're going to do it through zoom so and as soon as we have everything together y'all can go secure your seat for that i'm telling you in this season it's time to get to work it's time to get to work y'all it's time to go to work it's time to activate beast mode it's time to do what you got to do also be on the lookout for my course 10 steps to restoring your crown that is coming up as well yes you girl your girl in beast mode i already told y'all i'm going full fledged for the lord and i ain't stopping you understand what i'm saying i ain't stopping i don't waste all these years on a dance with the devil long enough now it's time to get over here and dance and work for the lord and the rest of my life is dedicated to god you understand what i'm saying the rest of my life on this side is dedicated to the lord and i got i got to do some makeup so makeup so i got to go i got to go and y'all better be the same way okay y'all better be the same way but y'all please be on the lookout as well um on my course it will be coming soon but I love you guys so much. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed, and safe evening. This has been Candice C. Bryan, your certified life coach and motivational speaker. I will check in with you guys next time.